Yo, 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 it's Big Ant, the spokesman, man. We're back, another edition of Urban Politicians TV, UPTV. Make sure you stay on your pivot at all times, man. Had to come tap in again, OG Percy, man. What's going down? Okay, okay, okay. We here, Herb. What's going down with you, bro? Nah, I feel good. You know, we no back thing. in the mix, man. No doubt. And I had no to doubt. come through and start this one off, man. I wanted to give you your flowers. Oh, I get flowers? Nah, first and foremost, <laughs> right here on Urban Politician TV for what you done did with me in this game, most definitely. Appreciate you, man. The content that you done helped me create, mm. the viewers that you done brought over here, most definitely. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm a, I, I gotta say that, you know, your following, people love to hear you talk and speak. Mm. Uh, your words are impactful, man. <laughs> you got a special gift. It's crazy. And you one of the greatest to do this, man. Uh, I don't know what to call what you do, man, whether it be inspiration, right. motivational, motivational speaking, right. sending warnings, <laughs> uh, telling the, speaking the real, spilling the real. That's you crazy. know, everything that you come on here and speak, bro, people wake up and you, you help people go through, get through their day, man. Uh, <laughs> You done touched some of the biggest platforms, 85 mm. South. Uh, that was a dope look. I wasn't even all the way here to you. Didn't I ain't gonna lie to you. <laughs> right, shout out right, to everybody, right. 85 South. You right. touched everything in Texas. Shout out to that. Man. Everywhere else you going. And hey, I gotta come on here and tell you, man, the people, they, they rock with you. Person, they love you, man. You great. Mm. You know, no matter what you got going on, man. Right, so right. I want to tell you. <laughs> Face to face, man. You gotta be blessed like I'm. Everybody can't. Crazy. Everybody can't do what you do, OG. Damn. So it take a, a, a person gotta come tell you that. Mm -hmm. And I wanted to do that right here, cause people, you know, I, I didn't, you know, people ask me about you at times and everything, and I tell right. them, you know, you know, OG person, he is who he is. He the right. guy, right. you know. But I wanted to make sure I came on here and let my people know they watch what we do. Right. I greatly appreciate that you are, most definitely, man, in this game. So man. keep doing your thing and keep going up, keep elevating for sure. Man, thank you. you thank know? you, everybody. And you, like I, I told you in the beginning, you was you was <laughs> requested by my check. Right. The niggas that be on my my right. uh YouTube live stream, yeah. they was talking about, man, get Percy on there, and we ain't been seeing him. We ain't been seeing him. Get Percy on there. Then right. I'm at the studio, so I'm a boy Chubb. Right. Chubb came up to me. We t I told him, I'm going to go to Dallas this weekend. So, hey, bro, man, interview my boy OG Percy, man. I'm like, right. it's come directly face to face. I right. through the internet. Right. So that means you in these streets, no matter mm. if they like it or not, you reaching these people. Man. So I had crazy. to just make sure I gave you your flowers and hmm. hopefully they can sit through all that. But I felt like that was much needed, you know. I appreciate it. But we don't man. do that a lot in our culture, man. So man, I want to put that out there. That's fire. Uh, Ooh. Let's get to it, man. We've been having a lot going on. Thank you, man. <laughs> uh, one thing that stood out that was crazy to me, man, LaShawn Thompson. Okay. Uh, out of Florida, but was going back and forth to Atlanta and everything like that. Ended up catching a charge last year. September, he passed away from, they said, eating alive by bed bugs in Fulton County Jail. His family just been able to get some traction to the story and everything through the media. They sold the jail cell. Hmm. I don't think you've seen it. Did you see that? Let's go. Did you see it? I'm listening. Okay, let me show it. My mind, my mind won. I'm already on top of it. Let me show you what the jail cell looked like. He just spoke on the situation, said his body reminded him of Emmett Till. Uh, we spoke on this before. Telling people the real on this inside behind the walls, man. And some of them be doubting your stories and saying, hey, it ain't that bad out there, man. It ain't that real. Well, Fulton County Jail, as soon as this story went viral, and I don't know how long they was working on that process, right. they didn't put 500000 into renovating the sheriff or somebody that work over there even said the jail is being held together with duct tape and glue, basically. So for somebody to die, basically deteriorate and get eaten alive by bed bugs, then they come and spend 500000 on renovating this. You got to tell them the real or just seeing how these poor conditions is behind these walls so niggas can know that they ain't even trying to go back there and deal with this. Stay out here was luxurious it. Okay, okay, okay. I'm off the leash. So man, tell my crib. Right here in Texas, man. Fort Worth, Texas, man. We got a jail called Mansfield. And in Mansfield, it's one of the nastiest, corruptest, 
corroded, um, bacteria, um, black mold, uh, everything on the walls around you, and you gotta live in that mother. Uh, to get eaten alive by bed bugs is impossible. Uh, but um, that's just another, that's a hideout, you know, that's, that's a stakeout. But there are conditions for jails like that, because man, feel you coming this month. Man, I see niggas coming in, I like that. Gotta stay here 14 days before you get processed into the county jail. 14 days? Yeah, you gotta stay here 14 days, then they'll process you into the county jail. Uh, I'm looking for a meal. Okay, and um, uh, you'll go up in this month. I mean, it's filthy, man. It's like living on top of each other. Uh, niggas hogging you out. You mean, you it's stinking this we're all the drunk, go all the wino, niggas with dirty socks, hobos, everything. But then you stay in there 14 days before you process to the main county. And uh, you gotta take a shower. You don't wanna wash it. You don't wanna try to you know, get yourself together just a little bit, you know, just cause you locked up, you ain't gotta, you know, turn into an animal off the rip. But uh, them conditions in them places are filthy, man. Tell some more crib, man. I was in prison one time. I woke up and seen bats over my guy cell. I didn't woke up and seen snakes wrapped around the mother balls on the cell. And I was like, where the f you get that from? He said, they got that out of cell six. That snake? My was holding him on a stick. I was like, God. Shit, me the come in here. Yeah, didn't come in here, nigga. It's like you living outside. Uh, for all you niggas that enjoy, um, you know, go and sit on the good old clean toilet. You know what I'm saying? Not getting ring around that. Understand me? Have to wake up, don't you? Have you know extra bumps on your booty? You understand me? Because you can sit there, you know, prison is so mother corrupt that you know niggas lay stay toilets with toilet paper. You come home and see niggas sitting at the house right now. You be like, what the fuck in there doing? Putting toilet? Why well, I got? I had my big brother had this bed. I like God. I mean, we can't keep a roll of toilet paper with my big brother, nigga. You done got there and laced this whole motherfucker here, laced the toilet down. That's how you know niggas institutionalized. You, you check them out, they been that motherfucker taking the toilet paper, wrapping it all around the motherfucker, you know, making a whole bowl around the bowl. And then get down there and don't even do nothing but pee. You sit down to pee, nigga. Nigga take one leg off, sit up on the motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? That's how filthy them prisons that made them niggas. That's how scared they know in prison. Them places are corrupt. Niggas be, man, I'm not sitting on that nasty toilet. Niggas will tell you quick, hell no. Nah. I didn't see niggas actually go in the shower in Mansfield with no shoes on. Hey, what the f this nigga went in there with no shoes on? He taking a shower in that motherfucker? He must ain't seen the inside of that guy's shower. Uh, if, if, if they if, um, they brought a team in there, they're out of the motherfuckers. They say, out of coming through today. The they go through there and look to that, that guy. They said they got surprised ain't nothing living. They, 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 they got living cells down there, motherfucker. Step your foot in that motherfucker, your skin, go up in your skin. You gonna get up out there, shower, you gonna next thing you know, you got your foot you can't get off. Uh, you went down and had to go get cream, medication, anti-fungus cream, and all type of shit. What got fungus on you? You touch that shower. That was filthy in there. Uh, it ain't lying, and, 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 you know, I can see bed bugs everywhere and nobody doing nothing about it. I can see that. Uh, Cause niggas don't understand you ain't gotta live like that if you living at home right now. Hello! Yeah, you don't gotta live like that if you already at home. Live, I mean, I mean, you, that's a choice you make. Uh, niggas get in there complaining about their living condition. Ain't, ain't that something? I'm just saying though, and I'm just saying though, no, I think it's that, no, I rule. Just stay the out of that place. That's our rules. That's, that's, our, that's, that's my saying. Shit. Niggas stay the out of there, niggas. Shit, don't get in that Crying about what's in there, shit, that's where you want to go. Yeah, yeah, ask me how I know, shit, because I did that, I made them own choices myself. Um, somebody said, don't do this, and I did it anyway, and I ended up somewhere I ain't supposed to be now, complaining about where I'm at now. Now, that ain't how the game go, because you got a choice right now, youngsters, to stay your ass right on solid ground. And, 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 and just know that them niggas that's living in them conditions, where they just come from, uh, what kind of shape they in. Uh, people, people need to understand it don't make you a bad man to come home from prison because uh, you weren't living too good. Hello! <laughs> As we can see on the picture, you weren't living too good, niggas. So don't come, a lot of niggas like to come home. Yeah, nigga, I kept myself, you know, neat, clean, you know, my shit was all up on the Everybody never 
that when niggas come home and try to make it seem like prison was somewhere good to be. You know what I'm saying? Me and, and you, it'll fuck you up because uh, the sad thing about that, man, uh, back in the 80s, 87 and 84, niggas was making prison sound like the place to go. I'm not gonna even lie to you, nigga. Who didn't wanna go to prison? Shit. Here's a little something about a nigga like me. Never should have been let out the penitentiary. Ice Cube would like to say that I'm a crazy mother. And I ain't, nigga, ain't never been to the penitentiary. Shit, I wanted to go. Ice Cube being. I was an Ice Cube fan to the fullest. I've always been an Ice Cube fan. Shit, I'm from day one, week one. Before you left NWA, I was an Ice Cube fan. And then the nigga said, here's a little somebody. And then the nigga said, never, I feel like shit, I'm on my way. And I feel like that, that song right there damaged me. But, but, but then I got some words that I felt, I don't, you know, god damn. Somewhere down the line, I got hooked. How did, how did Ice Cube, Ice Cube been here? Shit. You know? Cause the final Ice Cube ain't never been behind no motherfucking balls. If you have seen somehow, you know, not not in public history, <laughs> shit that we know of, he's just always been a rapper and an actor. And I'm glad he learned how to distinguish the two. <laughs> because he ain't never had to live that goddamn life. He just acted, nigga. Hello! That what acting is about. You understand me? But uh, I ended up in a place I didn't motherfucking want to be. A lot of y'all niggas be listening to these stories and y'all be saying, God damn, cuz, that nigga, man, shit, nigga lying, he wasn't like that. You know why they say it's nothing like that? Because they didn't really go where they were supposed to go. They ain't never really been in places that they supposed to Yeah, they, they, they bullshit. They, they, they playing with y'all. You got niggas come on act like they got them getting y'all down on beat, old nigga, having them my motherfucking way. Nigga, lay back every day, nigga. Drinking hooch on cell phone, getting money, nigga. Nigga, eyes big, but you know what I'm saying? He, yeah. Uh. That nigga show you a hundred dollars when he come home besides uh, a parole check. Oh, my bad. That motherfucker ain't over fifty dollars now. <laughs> it, it used to be a hundred and fifty. Uh, that shit over with too. Uh, you go down there, you gotta live in places like that, man. I'm talking about uh, red towel in your goddamn cell. Nigga, I was scared. We had to take our, our bag on first and hang our bag of commissary up on a motherfucking locker like that and let it hang. That's the first time I seen a nigga doing that. I said, God damn, go worry about hanging that goddamn fool on the locker like that. Say, because of the rats. You know me, I'm terrified. You say a rat, I'm scared of mice, hamsters, uh, anything, armadillos, uh, 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 you know, possums. Anything look like a rodent, that, that me, I, that's my phobia. I'm running out the mother though. You pull a gun on me, you know what I'm saying, you have a chance, nigga. But you put a rat on me, I ain't, you, you got that. You understand me, but, um, uh, these places are filthy, man. They ain't lying. Uh. And they don't want to see you live no better in one of them places. You end up in one of them places, don't think you going to go uh, get your uh, fitted sheet, nigga. You know, a queen size sheet, you know what I'm saying, me? You get to know, get to make your bed up. You got no motherfucking bed, nigga, you got a mat. The mat don't got shit in the middle of it, but just a mat. Back be all fucked up, out of whack. You know, what's wrong with that mattress, man? Damn. You know how many back problems in that mother? Niggas sleeping on them motherfucking hard ass mats. A mat, nigga. A tumbling mat. The shit they have at the gym when you go to PE, nigga. <laughs> a mat. The mat you work at, that they, that's a bed. Imagine that be in your bed for years. Hello. Confirmation. You understand me? That means that motherfucker hard. Nigga, you need a chiropractor as soon as you got out that motherfucker. You hear me? But, um. And you're right, man. That's a filthy place to live at, man. I've witnessed um, um, horrible places to live in. And, and I want y'all to know it's like that. Yeah. It's like and, that. Uh, and, you know, he had a, a, a mental condition. Oh, my God. Left, and they left him in a psych ward, clearly, unattended. I guess. Let's go. Let's chicken. go. Let's go. So, let's so motherfucking go. That just them doing that and him passing away, man. I want to send mm. dollars to, the, to his family. And he passed there. away. Can I yeah. ask you a question? Yeah. Behind balls? Behind balls, man. And you know he was he, you know he was they put him he was diagnosed with a mental condition in this case man thirty five years old and uh, went out like that that's a terrible death and his family just looking for answers now but clearly they weren't doing their job at the jail they supposed to do this but at the same time as you always say they don't care about you in there they'll lead you to rot and die because if they care. 
they would already had these things taken care of. Nah, man, uh, I like that. If they cared, yeah. they would always have these things taken care of. You hear me? Yeah. Yeah, but they don't. Know why they don't care? Because you don't care. Because if you care, you wouldn't be in there. I'm giving y'all the game, man. I swear to God. It don't get no different with what I'm saying. Yeah. That ain't a rap or a riddle. I'm being honest. Them people don't give a fuck about you in there. Do y'all know how many retarded people in that place, y'all? Y'all know how many mental ill people in that place that don't nobody give a fuck about? Out here. Hello? It's just Johnny. Johnny just out the goddamn way. Where you in prison? Oh, shit. Getting treated bad in the motherfucker. It's one thing about Johnny, nigga, if you ain't got no snap about yourself in any goddamn institution, nigga, you are food. You are food to anybody. I said to anybody. I ain't talking about to just the inmates, the officers too. Uh, a lot of officers come in that place with a lot of things on their mind besides doing their job. A lot of officers come in that motherfucker make your time worse than what the fuck it is. And just imagine old Johnny that can't think, kind of retarded. Got to goddamn get an MHMR chick, rocking back and forth. Uh, and they'll slap Johnny speech still, motherfucker. But that's Johnny phobia. And every time he rock for it, they meet him again. Call their partner from work. I didn't have to slap Johnny 60 times today. I, didn't, well, I, I hit him 90 last night. <laughs> Well, fucking Johnny up, Johnny facing that motherfucker like a goddamn um, Martin when he had, you know, was on Martin playing the goddamn dummy part. Yeah, fuck them up. They don't give a fuck. Guess what? Ain't nobody checked on old Johnny. Oh, if y'all y'all think just because you got a special need, I'm going to tell you, they pray out special need motherfuckers more than anything. Because they know one thing about a special need motherfucker, he ignorant to the law. He don't know no better. What, what, what more to get to a motherfucker that don't know no better? She gonna get got a handful of them motherfuckers. Matter of fact, they got so many they got a shout out to the hospital, John Seeley. If any of y'all never went to John Seeley Hospital, you know what the fuck going on. You know what the fuck going on, niggas. Straight jacket city, nigga. Uh psych ward, nigga. Understand me? Yeah, yeah, I ain't fuck around. OG person kept his sanity the whole time, you understand me? But anyway, I'll let y'all know, yeah, no, no doubt, man. Those places are are, are they do exist. Uh, shrinks do exist. Uh, uh, keep your mind, your body, and you, you win your soul, man. A crazy incident happened in Kansas City, Missouri, man. A uh, young teenager by the name of Ralph mm -hmm. Yarl, doing good in school. Right. Great grades. They say he's a musical genius, headed to college, everything like that. On point, never been in no type of trouble or nothing. Mm. Um, Accidentally went to the wrong house to pick up his two little brothers and he was shot in the head when he rung the doorbell. The streets and they showed it on the map was right next to each other and they got the same name. So it's easy to get them conflicted because it's only one part that make it different. Right. So when he went to run his doorbell, uh, he gets shot in the head. And as reports are saying right now, he was shot again after he was shot in the head. Hmm. Did not pass away, had the strength to fight, ran to some different neighbor's house, and like on the third one, they came outside and helped him, got him to the hospital and everything. But he did survive. Let's go. That's so <laughs> yeah, well, I'm smiling. Yeah, he, he survived. He survived. I'll wait for the outcome. I'll wait yeah, for that thing. Yeah, he survived, man. He survived. Let's go. So, uh, God damn it. At first, it was not understood. I'll wait for the tragedy, though. Know? Yeah. God damn yeah. it. Yeah. So, at first, it wasn't clear, but they are saying that they are going to charge the guy, Andrew Lester. Huh. And I think he's in his 80s already. Older, white guy, to my understanding. And, um... They haven't put this as a racially motivated crime yet. Okay. But I've heard that Kansas City is very racist. I didn't know that at first. Hmm. But my boy Nate, shout out to my boy Duffelback, Nate, he put me on how Kansas City really is out there. Say it's real between it's real. black and white people. But, but So okay. he got his issue off on the teenager, man. Right, right, right. He, he got, got two charges. We don't know if he going to get sentenced, but they might make an example out of him. Cause they got to with but, the police. But, but what's the charges? Uh, he got a, a first degree assault and armed criminal action. Okay, we got fucked. We got robbed on that one. What happened to attempted murder? Yeah. You understand me? What happened to attempted murder? Yeah. See, they, they threw that, you know, and that shows that the city they in is a racist city because that's attempted murder. I mean, she. I guess let's we 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 all listen to the same story. I mean, I mean, I, I mean, I ain't that goddamn, you know, smart with the law, but I do know, um, if I give you this dope, that's a drug charge. 
If I pop you in your ass, nigga, that's a murder charge. I know if I pop you and you live, that's an attempted murder charge. Well, he got down. He got him, but that's okay. Long as it stick, nine and ninety nine, motherfucker. Uh, yeah, it's gonna catch that. You gonna catch that sale. And look at me, I see you already got a goddamn me on a mug shot of the motherfucker. Understand me? Yeah, you out of there. And the way he look, he ain't gonna last too long. You gonna last? You can't come in there and say you shot a black man through the door. Uh, they gonna hire him as soon as he get in there. Now, they they protect them. They protect. They protect their kind. Now, they can't run the system. Y'all got y'all got to remember that the police start. She started with Ku Klux Klan. The Klan is the police. It started like that. They just built the business out of it. They, they found out how to make it go viral. How to take you know, turn plantations into penitentiaries, turn turn KKK into policemen. You understand me? And make it out of a business. You know. But anyway, um, yeah. But he. He got that coming. I hope he I hope he gets sent, man. Shout out to that family, man. I'm glad that boy lived. Uh. You need to be the first thing, you know, on your knees as soon as you get a chance. Well, not long, you don't gotta get on your knees, you know. Just some shit the white folks made up. You just, you just lift your head to the sky. Uh, or whatever you wanna do. Uh -uh. Throw your hands in there or anything. You know, thank thank the man, thank your higher power for rescuing you, man. Coming to rescue you, man. Uh, I, I seen a couple of rescues this week. I'm glad he's on the list, but um, oh, oh, Whitey, you're not gonna get away with that. Oh, them days are over with. Them days are over with, you know, looking like by right around his age, he still think it's them days. Well, he ain't been outside to check the temperature yet, nigga. Them days are over with. Them star class, man, you can't shoot through your motherfucking door without proper call. And if and we gotta know, um, <coughs> you know, uh, they fuck around and say he was on medicine, schizophrenic, you know, ADHD, um, um, paranoia, all type of shit, the man crazy, you know, such that people don't never knock on it. We don't give a fuck about none of that. Cause that would mean, you know, you make a mistake shooting through the door. You don't make a mistake when you're on the floor. Hello! They're gonna attempt murder. Uh, uh. You don't use your weapon when, um, your life is in danger. <laughs> I don't think ringing the door bell gonna kill you. Damn, that was fire. <laughs> Hold on. Yeah, I don't think ringing a doorbell gonna kill nobody, but to shoot a man through the door, then instead of shooting him again, oh, you got, you, come on, man. We need the right motherfuckers on this case, because, like you say, that need to make example of him. He, you, your life is over, and you tried to end a life, so yours should be over with, too. Yeah. Your life is over, yeah, because you tried to end a life, so your life should be. Example we need, 9 or 99. Blind crew. We, the system needs to know this, this type of behavior is not tolerated. How about that? Fuck what cut you? Then you gonna go down in them, them old niggas. Them old niggas gonna make, gonna, gonna, gonna treat your mouth like a glove. Ask me why. Why? He gonna be catching balls and jaws in and out of his motherfucking mouth. You hear me? Yeah, he gonna treat your mouth like a glove. Nigga, you gonna be catching balls every time you look up. Yeah, old, old white pervert. That what he look like. And, and when you going in with that kind of look like I seen on your mugshot, you might well go on keep it. It's a lot of niggas down there like that look on your face. They like that look. You looking just right for them. Scrumptious, old man. Hello. Talk so, to you. So, you know, they do have, don't they separate the older inmates? Man, now, nah, listen, inmates? listen, listen. Yeah. They separate They separate your body weight. Other than that, that's it. Okay. You know, they, they don't want you to get hauled. They did do a little leniency in the system. You know, the, um, the body weight niggas. Uh, uh, uh. When we uh, compare them, put them in a cell with somebody, we check body weight now. You know? Oh, okay. Don't put no 300 pound nigga in there with no 40 pound nigga. Okay. Never know what's going on. Okay. Hit me to something new. Big, 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 big daddy, big daddy on the bunk. So, you know, they cheated. They cheated on that. Uh, uh, that that's about the only thing they sizing up now. No, they not putting nobody in there too big. You no. Know? <laughs> yeah. But my thing is this that don't mean they not in there. Just cause you, you know, a nigga your side and your weight, you understand know I me? Mean? They, they, they do it like that now. Mm -hmm. uh. But I think, you know, I think that shit worn out too. You know, hey, they just looking for a bunk now. Go in and go and get you, yeah, catch that, go get you somewhere to sleep. Yeah, right now they just looking for a bunk. So, um. Well, I've seen like the images before, like just different, 
sometimes inmates will actually like older and they be like on the breathing machines and everything. Oh like, yeah, oh come on, man, it don't yeah. stop. It don't yeah. stop to the planet rock, man. Well nah, he gonna have to face this. Whatever he gotta face, hey, he gotta face it, man. And, uh, hey, I see him coming down. And... Yeah. Damn, how Pops end up with that goddamn? How you get in here? Shit, goddamn, what is that? That's a line? About 10 of them going there. Goddamn! All the motherfucking wheelchairs! Ah, damn! Niggas on walkers and shit! Oh, you better remember, blind people are crazy. 9 and 99. You commit a crime, you're gonna do the time down here in Texas. They don't give a fuck what's wrong with you. They don't care about none of that. The only thing they wanna know in Texas was a crime committed. They got somebody for that shit. They practice, they go to school every day. We call them quarter lawyers. Down here in our state, we call them lawyers. Some bad motherfuckers. Um, they job is just to figure out if you broke any laws. That's it, they don't give a fuck what it was. You know, he dropped the pencil, he threw the pencil and accidentally hit the teacher in the face. Well, that's a, that's assault. He, you know, he, you know, he told her to catch. Huh. I, I had to say that because one time I was at school and then my teacher, I had went and show up in my pencil. My teacher told me, give me my, give me that pencil back there. So I just threw it back to her and it flipped just like a goddamn me, um, a motherfucking uh, a dart and landed right there on her goddamn face, in her cheek. I mean, I swear to God, right now today, if I was a bad nigga, I'd tell you I did it on purpose, but I didn't. But guess what I got treated like? I did it on purpose. I swear to God, I, I tell the truth, right now today, so yeah, man, bitch told me I threw that pencil stuck in her face. Make me sound like I'm somebody, but I didn't. I really just tend to, you know, I just threw it back to her and it just tumbled past her hand, her, her catch, and stuck her right in the face like a goddamn dork. I got treated like goddamn me, uh. Even mama whooped my ass. Nah, damn. As the teacher told, you know. But I'm um, saying that to say this, then you, you can do an accident, nigga. If a crime is committed, we don't give a fuck. But we know we know overkill. We know overkill, nigga. You shoot a nigga through the door, then go out and shoot a nigga in the head, nigga. You try to kill something. You out of there. You out of there. Let's go, man. Last time we spoke, man, we okay. had talked about the XXX Tentacion murder trial and everything. Okay. Well, the three guys, these are the ones you talked about. Hey, what's the use to wetting up some if you're going to end up dry snitching? <laughs> Either way, they shouldn't have been trying to rob, shouldn't have been trying to steal, even though they partner told on them, they put themselves there. Oh, and you always then, and, and came in and put that message out there, bro. In the end, are you ready for them consequences as a man? Hmm. Most niggas ain't. Nah, for real. When it really get down, come down to the come down. You might be ready for the first five years. You said that. Hmm. You might be ready for the first the first 10 years. Hmm. Then the next five years. But after 20, niggas start hitting them. Nigga, I got life. So that's exactly what all three of them got now. Sentenced to life. All three of them in prison. One of them decided to uh, kind of hold his nuts in the courtroom and blew a kiss during the verdict. Now, I couldn't see who he blew it at directly, but he wanted to let his nuts hang. Mm. I don't know why. I guess he said F it. He wanted to stand tall in this situation, but they all sentenced to life. These dudes are young. And they took XXXI condolences to his family. He had a newborn baby born right after he passed away. His mother's still out here grieving, family, close friends. He helped a lot of people get on in the community, his rap circle, all that. But they got life now. You can check out any time in life, but you can never leave. You will spend the rest of your life in prison from here. You will go and be placed in a cell that has a stainless steel slab that's attached to the wall. It's your bed. Next to it is a stainless steel sink and a stainless steel toilet. That's the furniture that you have in that cell. You'll spend every hour and every day and every week and every year of your life 
in that cell. And one day, they'll come and open up that cell in the morning and you'll have passed on. And only on that day will you have served your sentence. Okay, so in their twenties, he's still blowing kisses. They put the pictures out. They got them boys' yeah. head shaved fully. Yeah, yeah, he good to go. So yeah, no. with that going on, man, them going in there, just give them the real picture of you seeing over time. Like, okay, I seen a young dude coming here. He wild and thugging, still wearing that crime Ready? with pride. Let's go. And then you seen somebody else, like, well. He did this same thing, but he moving completely different now, but he ain't never coming home. Never. Say, man, uh, he was a killer on yesterday. Then they go to church to find out that there's a better way. Problems like that, the nigga just a little too late. Nigga start riding, reading Bible scriptures and, and, and trying to get in church, trying to find anything to give them some hope and some faith that they'll get out that place. That shit over. Tales from a crib. I had a partner named T. Lee, man, down in West Texas. Him and a couple niggas, they jumped in the cab, decided to go rob a cab driver one time. And when they did, they committed a crowd back in the day. Just had a little bucket that the cab driver kept a little box in the car. He grabbed a box and you, you, got, you got the money. Some niggas used to hit stains, some niggas didn't. But that day, T. Lee and three more guys, him and Jamie and another little nigga decided they're going to jump in the car and grab a box and kill the cab driver. Shot him in the back of the head and murdered him. They got the box, ran out with the box. When they got where they was got, it was $35 in the box. Uh, cab drop was dead. Well, make a long story short, all three of them niggas was caught. Make a long story short, I did time with Jamie Green. I did time with Larry Bob. I did time with T. Lee. That's all three of the guys that got life. Uh, when he went to court, T. Lee got the life since he came back in. He was sitting around playing and jumping around doing, man, what they get, man? He just gave me the life. I didn't get the death penalty. Oh, that's cool. They would know they were beating for the death penalty. He felt good that he would, he would be there for the rest of his life, but, uh, he felt better that they didn't give him the death penalty, but uh, he was running around in that motherfucker like shit wasn't nothing. So I looked at the young nigga. And I told the young nigga, I said, my nigga, my nigga, you got a lot of sentence, nigga. You running around here playing and shit. And I turned my, I turned away from the nigga like that. And the nigga looked at me like, oh, what's wrong with person? What's wrong with person? Nah, what's wrong with you, nigga? Fuck you mean, what's wrong with me? Nigga, it ain't dawned on you yet? Nah, it ain't dawned on him yet. Like my boy said, some of them don't dawned on them. They, they, they get in that motherfucker, get their life right, start doing things, start going, then life start changing, their heart start turning gray. You dig what I'm saying? Then these niggas that found themselves, they got peace of mind, peace at heart, peace at ease. Then, you know, then guess what happened? They grow up. They grow up in their first 25, and they, they, now they're on their second 25, trying to get their second 25 out the way, and they grow up, and they find out, well, uh, even in my first 25 and my second 25, nigga, I, I, I'm not going home. Uh. Confirmation. <laughs> Every time, I'm not going home. They start worrying and turning on them. You go up there and see them niggas, they be looking all fly and the motherfucker with them lies. Since you go back there a couple months later, and they got a whole ball spot on top of their goddamn It's over. Why? Because they ain't worried with themselves to death. They, 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 they stressing. Um, they, don't, they don't got no other way to say that I'm going home. The, the, the two words, three or four words, whatever it is, that they wish they could say one time, I'm going home. I know niggas in that motherfucker, man, they been so long, they lie to themselves and say they going home. I know a nigga lied to himself for so goddamn me long, told me he was going home, he had it figured out. But guess what? They, after he ran that game, uh, nigga told me he do that on every unit he go to. Act like he finna make parole. Yeah, I got that parole, nigga. I'm gonna know you ready to go home. He'll do that shit. Guess what? That nigga still in that motherfucker right now that other day with my son there. Saying he finna go home. Um, uh, sad thing, he was down there 22 years before I got there. Unless y'all soaking that for me. I said before I got there. He had already brought 22. Yeah. Um, uh, I went down there, did mine, came home, and I've been home 11. Guess what? Huh. He's still down there. Unless y'all soaking that for a minute. Guess what? He finna come home. 
I just wanted to make it sound good to him. You know, somebody got to give you some type of faith. But see what I'm saying? I'm, I'm glad on my boy Urban Politic and began bringing it to my attention and said one thing. He said, niggas, let them know, person. Let, let them soak in it. Let, when is going to hit them? What'd you say, Ant? It ain't hit them yet? No way. You know when it hit them? It hit them when mama die. Yeah, it hit them when, when daddy die. It hit them when somebody out there that they love get killed off or, or, or died in the streets and you can't do nothing about it. Uh, it'll hit them when it ain't nobody no more. It'll hit them when you don't get no mail no more. When don't nobody come up there and visit you no more. Uh, see, right now, they come to visit because it ain't like you'll ever be able to go see them. As soon as you lose that last, that last one of them, one or two people that come and see them little tools and fruits that might come through there, uh, but guess what? They ain't gonna spend the rest of their life with you. Uh, niggas don't think about that when they put themselves in them type of position. Then they end up in them motherfuckers, get in there, and then they grow up. Hello! Everybody running, oh, Jimmy, he got so grown and he's looking good, girl. But guess what? You say all you want, but he ain't never coming home. She just looking like that. Have you ever seen the eyes of a nigga that ain't never coming home? Believe me, I have, nigga. It hurts them niggas, man. Them niggas is lost, nigga. Them niggas live my say, man, niggas, cause you ain't never? No, 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 I ain't never going. I'm gonna be in for the rest of my life, man. And I look and I look, I stare at niggas like that, and I be like, you know. I feel to say some shit like that. I don't never in my life wanna ever have to say nothing like that. So guess what? I ain't gonna put my life in no type of jeopardy like that. Look at youngsters. Uh, for all y'all be looking at me and Big Ant, an urban politician right here, all the youngsters' eyes and ears that we do got. Uh, I got old saying, man, stay the fuck out that place, man. Place ain't for no real niggas. You can do all the stick sliding and all that shit you want to, uh, but end up when you grow up, what you gonna do? Yeah, you might use right now, I'm a kid right now, but they give you a time in that motherfucking system that um by the time we see you again, you be old and gray. And ain't nobody gonna curl. The same niggas that you sliding with gonna be the same niggas on the stand telling the judge and jury everything. Hello! Gonna be the same niggas up there pointing you out in the courtroom. Yeah, uh. They, they think they, they think snitching is back on at an all time high thanks to Charleston White. So snitching is back at an all time high, but I like to let people know one thing off the record, and that there's more snitches in prison than on the streets. Man, it's more snitches. It's more snitches. It's niggas that snitch in prison that you would never think would be a snitch. This nigga snitch in prison because they know they can't make it in prison. But if they get protection, like some of the guards to protect them, look out for them, they'll, they'll start talking. There's some niggas in prison that uh, snitch for a living. There's some niggas that ain't never going home, but if they can get in your cell, plant a nigga in your cell, put a cell in your cell, put a cell in your cell. <laughs> That's why I let y'all soak in that for a minute. And that cell collect all the data and information they need. And next thing you know, you go to court out of state, goddamn me. Be like, what the fuck? You got a witness. He coming there, the same motherfucker with suit and tie on, cleaned up her on. Yeah, they look for me. Oh, yeah. That was your celly. Goddamn sure was. Don't look like me. You know, he cleaned up. Yeah. That's your. Yeah, that was your celly. So you know what? You know what that means in my arm. Um, my minister society detective voice. You know you done fucked up, don't you? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You know you done fucked up, don't you? Yeah. And you see people like that walk up there, get on the stand, and you sit in this cell and been riding with this nigga, telling nigga all your business all night, you yeah, cool. I remember one day shit. So that's what prison is about, letting it all out. Somebody asked me what prison was about. Prison is not to be a bit to Nick Hong said, he go to prison, he's gonna come on acting right. I don't know how. Um, I got I got a um nine one one for the world. Uh, uh, uh emergency altar. Um, everybody should be on the lookout for all the new niggas that come home. 
we need to start doing some coming home interventions. I need to tell niggas, I need to tell, I need to tell, I need to tell uh, a prison story about what happens when you come home on parole. That's a question that ain't never been asked. Nigga, how did you make it coming home? I said, now you niggas ain't gonna make it coming home. But if you make it home, welcome home. Stay home. You know what I'm saying? Uh, let's go in. And uh, with him blowing that kiss, man, when he get older, you think he will still be standing on that type of behavior? Or is that something that you think? Do you think that somebody now when you turn around and did that and disrespected that man? Uh, that means let me tell you something about prison, man. Uh, I look this. I be looking at say I be looking at little niggas and they're rapping and shit and going and beating on the table. Everybody and still wild and that. It, oh, let me tell you something. I'm glad you said that again. Uh, it ain't getting no better in there. Oh no. Oh no. It's not getting no better in that place. I'm watching you beating around everybody. Oh, I'm, dead, I'm, dead, I'm, dead. I'm killing me. That's what's coming home. You, you used to see behave niggas coming home. Like like prison had changed them or something. That shit over. Prison is doing as good as designed to do is make you worse. If we can make you worse, so that means you can come back and we can keep us a job. Hello. Long as we know y'all coming back. Shit, don't worry. Y'all can beat on them bunks all motherfucking night if you want to. Guess what that's telling them? They'll be back. They'll be back. As long as they come back, guess what? I got a job. I get to come clock in. God damn it, but that nigga blowing that kiss, they, they let you know, I'm saying it to say this, son. He ain't no word with, that it made him feel no different. He in a place that ain't changed his mind about what he done did already. He in a place where they what they talking about doing in there right now. He in a place where that's, that they put them in there according to your, your charge. You know, we're going to put our aggravated murders in there. They, they put you in there by your charge. You got the, you got the traffic tickets over here, the, the, the drunks over here, the misdemeanors over here, the felonies over here. You understand me? Yeah, the killers over here, the, the burglaries and the robbers in this tank. You understand me? And uh, they put you around people that your charge is similar to theirs. So, you know, um, you won't get treated no different while you're locked up. Well, just go, imagine going in there and you, everybody in there for killing. Niggas in there beating on shit, rapping about how they killed the motherfucker. Uh, that's what's coming home nowadays. Back in the days, the nigga come home and say, nigga, I'm gonna get my diploma, my GED. You understand me? Uh, I graduated, got me a trade while I was there, and I can drive trucks when I come home now. I know it. We don't hear them stories no more. Nobody talking about how I got my CDL on my way down there in Sugar Land, Texas, down on Central Unit, driving trucks. Uh, you tell how nigga when I ain't got his pilot license, uh, crop in the fields. Now, yeah, okay, it's, it's more to learn than what you think. It's a whole world inside of a world. Same word thing y'all got in this world outside. They sitting there. He sitting there. Uh, it's a whole different world. That's why they just call this one the free world. Huh. And you go inside they world, uh. Then you realize it's a different world inside this world than what y'all think it is. Uh, and when them niggas go down there and find out and it's too late with their pants sagging, they say, put your goddamn pants up, boy. Fuck wrong with you walking around with your goddamn pants down like that, nigga. Put your goddamn pants on. If you don't want to work, take them off. Yeah. Blowing kisses and shit. Disrespectful. That shit. I'm saying shit like this because you're going to go down there with the same attitude. Them white boys going to beat the brakes off of them. Yeah, if you blow a kiss at him, I know you'll do some slick to a guard. Because your mind ain't in regard to the family right now. He don't care because they moaning, they going through something. You on some bullshit. Still. Well, uh, that's one of the attitudes where you can't do nothing else with me. Fuck y'all. No, fuck you bitches. Yeah, I did that. Uh, my thing is, the little guy that was rapping, he, he was on some gangster rapping shit too, huh? No, no, he he was he was, he, all, he was all clean. Yeah, yeah, that's he, the little bright dude. Yeah, yeah. That, that ain't the one he got into with his girlfriend, ain't? He? Yeah, he had some little issues. Issues, with okay, but nothing family, major. But he, clean, he cleaned it up though. Okay, he, was, he okay. was working on better than himself. He was uh, I seen him the with people. the black eye one time. Yeah, he he he, he was work. He was most definitely uh, trying. Re, trying to rearrange the end, re 
most definitely uh redirected the energy and the narrative around okay. him. Yeah, most yeah, definitely yeah. had inspired a lot of kids yeah. man he, they they say you know depending on you ask people look at him like he was going to be one what? of the greatest artists man in this game because well, you know yeah. he was putting that positive message out and helping the people who had to uh struggling like with well, the mental well, health what you this. saying what you saying now yeah. I, I see why he gone yeah yeah what you saying you know, they gonna kill that off quick yeah that's a sale yeah okay hell no Hell no, hell no. I, I be scared doing what I'm doing. Yeah. Cause um, uh, once you become a sailor and people attach on to you, you're not leading your people the wrong way. You become, you know, um, uh, an enemy to the public. He was pushing the man. I'm he talking about really it. when he passed away too, man. Like they pulled everybody. They did candle lights off. Oh man. It affected the game, man. I remember it was when he uh got killed. Like it affected the like, world. Like a two pop. Oh yeah, for sure, for this generation. Okay, like, get out there. I can see that. I gotta see that. I'm yeah, gonna, you gotta yeah. check him out. Look at his documentary, man. The boy had it, man. He was going up and these people around the, the way. the one that ran up on the car. I seen him the break yeah, yeah, that yeah, killed yeah, yeah, a long yeah, while ago. Yeah, yeah, it was like 2018. So yeah. they just get to it now, man. I remember it and it, it was very impactful because he had the controversy going on at one point, but the talent was there. Right. He had the skill had the, the influence and he really gave that younger generation hope, man. So, yeah. you know, I Damn. just had to put it out there for you to speak on it. Cause you know, the real or how yeah. this thing gonna turn out for them. Oh yeah, they gonna, they gonna read what they sow. They will have to grow up in that place. When they start growing up, they gonna find out, man, life is, you know, watch, it was gonna be sad when some of them go and they find themselves. That's what's gonna get him when the drugs wear off and the pills out the system and your mind get clear and your conscience is free. And then you get to find out what you really, really did and, and what a life really, really mean. And then feel like then you're gonna realize that I ain't got nothing no more myself. Yeah. See, it's different when your conscience kick in, because that ain't kicked in yet. And when your conscience kick in, you'll find out, nigga, that kiss in the wind, <laughs> you're gonna leave your ass stuck in the wind. Boys. It's an incident that happened a while back in uh, Cincinnati. A guy by the name of Jaleel Markeith shot and killed. Well, he shot two people. Shot a guy and his girl. The guy lived. The girl died. They got to reading him the stuff in the courtroom and everything. He was, you know, pleading his case and all that. Right. But he was pressing against the line. Tried to rob somebody. Take something from somebody. And when he got in that courtroom, this happened. Three-year-old Jaleel was a young man living in Cincinnati, Ohio, who got mixed up with the wrong crowd. Jaleel planned with two other guys to steal a car. But this is where everything went wrong. Portia Brooks and her boyfriend, Aaron Martin, were inside a car, whispering sweet nonsense as lovers do, when Jaleel knocked on the car's window with a gun. Jaleel pushed the frightened boyfriend out of the car, searched, and shot him in the head. He then leaned in and shot Portia twice. Portia was taken to the hospital later, but didn't make it and died three days later. Luckily, Martin survived, but sustained serious brain damage. Dalil and his accomplices, 23-year-old Josiah Fousse, Randall Bird, escaped. Still, through police investigation, they were apprehended years later. Dalil was charged with aggravated murder and attempted murder. Portia's sister, in her statement, insisted on Jaleel serving the maximum sentence. I have to deal with life without Portia, so he should deal with life without, without parole. When it was Jaleel's turn to address the court, he pleaded for parole. He cried and claimed he had learned his lesson. Lord. <laughs> if his pleas moved the judge, the victim impact statement from the victim's family ensured that he served the maximum sentence. Or defense your term of life without parole as to count for, for the offense of attempted murder. When he heard this sentence, he slumped to the floor crying. He breaking down and uh, passing out and everything like that. Uh -huh. Pleading his case, man. Uh -huh. you gotta bring the real to reality. Boys gotta know when you pick up the gun and you go commit a crime. Because that robbing is real heavy out here in the world, as you've seen as of late. Really. And I tell people, man, I ain't saying stay heartless forever. You might have been heartless in a moment, but don't let yourself become heartless 
Because you ain't going to be ready for the results if you get jammed up, bro. We see them. They look, they look like they body. They if, look like they stepples. They look like they, they gangsters. They some, of them, some of them stand on it. They keep that fight. They don't for the public and everything. And some of them do what he did, man. Hmm. It's the gangsters, the steppers, the robbers. Some of them going to cry in private. But he broke down right there. You got to give him the real, man. Say, uh, it ain't no fun when the rabbit got the gun. <laughs> I bet when he was taking, when he, when he took that girl life and he shot her like he did, I bet I rolled him back ahead. That's the same way that nigga looked when that judge gave him that time. That nigga I rolled him back ahead. Took all the life out of him. That nigga know where he been at for the last year or two or three that he been fighting that charge. Shit, he don't want to be there for the rest of his life. What? That nigga fight, that nigga had some stripes on. That nigga didn't have a... If you ever time y'all see, see a nigga come in that motherfucker got the stripes on, that's a trusty. He ain't really just doing too many hard times. They got that solid shit on, they back there, they, they thugging it out. Huh. I sit there and watch that nigga get that time while I go. He, you know, he sit there and boo-hoo to the goddamn family. Let me tell y'all something. We already know you need to be practicing that shit. We already know niggas always say, man, just break down crying. Then, man, don't you know, they don't give a fuck about your tears and their hope. Crying ass motherfucker. Them white folks said, give that nigga life without parole. If, if they could have had their way, they just said, get a rope. That's what we gonna do. We just gonna get a rope and hang this nigga from the tallest pole. Fuck some parole. But like my boy Ant say, these niggas walking around here, they got the dreads and everybody swinging. Niggas wildin'. You know, I understand what's in style. Nigga, back in the day, we used to do, you know, kid and play and shit. It was in style, nigga. But that time y'all getting, this shit wasn't in style back then. Nigga was getting, you know, um, back in my day, niggas say 25 years. That was a lot of time for a nigga back then. Damn, that sound like a light sentence to us. They got 25 years. What? Now yeah, niggas in here talking about, I'm going to see if I can get 25. I'm going to take 25. You said, that ain't, that ain't no time. But you niggas have to run around here with all the gangster shit and it's time for it to get gangster. Come on now. Come on now. We need y'all to be them same niggas that you is with the stick in your hand. You know, the stick y'all go get, they start hitting niggas with it, look like you're hitting them with a switch. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's y'all. But then when that judge get that switch in his hand, get the whooping of that ass with it, 99. 120 years, nigga. No parole, nigga. No state, no, no visitation for a year. Damn, nigga. No commissary for the next five years. See, let me tell you something. When you lose your life to the system, when you become a ward of the state, y'all look that up. Y'all look that up. When you become a ward of the state, huh? Because somewhere in that law, if you niggas ain't search your law, huh? Once you have been um, convicted, as a felony, you become a ward of the state. <laughs> look the word ward up. That means slave, nigga. I mean, you become a slave, nigga. You ain't shit. They don't give a fuck what they do with you now. That nigga out of here. That's how he looking at you now. You became a ward of the state now. You can cry. You go back to the say all the fucking shit you want to. Sit there in front of you. You was a killer on yesterday. You was a killer on yesterday. Beating on your chest like you one of them old Planet of the Apes. Real killer. Couldn't tell you shit. Now you're in that courtroom with you. <laughs> Please forgive me. Your ass on up out of here. Get his ass on up out of here. I be sitting up looking at him. Because let me say something. You got enough, you know, because you, you got to watch the, the before to appreciate the after. Hello. <laughs> My bad. I had to bust that on that one. You got to. Watch the before to appreciate the after. Because before they were just. Shit, you couldn't tell. Yeah, that's them, that's them niggas. Had the whole world. Yeah, that's them. And the after. Well, y'all come here and look at this. Hurry up. Come look at Jim. They got Jim on TV. Come look at him. He get in there and get with Jim and they're doing. <laughs> Please 
Jimmy, forgive me, family. Man, that's not Jim. He must be on some medicine, son. They must be doping Jim up in there. They must be doing something that they ain't doing Jim. Guess what? Jim conscience had kicked in. Um, Jim has been in the county for like um, six months now. Um, his system is clean. His mind is free. He can think again. No more drink, no more pouring up, no more Hennessy, no more hair run, no more ice, no more boy, no more girl, no more Craig, no more nothing. He's clean. He's been sitting in a motherfucking cell. So guess what happened when you become a clean man? Hello, here come who? Who is it? That's conscience. Conscience that let him in. Shh. Don't think you want to. Now I'm stay. Man, they conscience in there. I'm hard enough to take that. Niggas think they're hard enough until conscience get there. you will see them. If they ain't no nigga walking down to conscience, he must have been talking to conscience. What's that in there? He got a bobble. You got his bobble? He got his bobble in his pocket. Old conscience been talking to him. Then this thing, you know, you sitting there coming down that motherfucker praying, got a, got a kufi on their motherfucking head, some carpet in their hand. But yeah, he's been, he's been converted. Consciously kicked in. And now I guess what they start thinking, they thinking because they constantly kicked in, they can go up. You niggas say it. You niggas say it for this shit. Mail call! Outside mail call. Nigga run over there and get mail, it's a, it's a letter from your bitch ass. Writing the goddamn family pleading for uh, leadership on your life, on your next parole, and see if you can help you get your appeal, and see if you can get your bitch. You just, you niggas sick, man. And you trying to get the family to help you? You know, they get them to say something for me. Yeah, I, I get them to say something for you. If, if you can make him get up and say something for us. Help me out. You help me, and I'm going to help you. If you can do that for me, believe me, I got you. I get you out of there. Now, what you want me to do? John, the one you killed, motherfucker. If he can say something for me, I'm going to say something for you. If you can't make him say nothing for me, don't make me try to say nothing for you, nigga. I don't give a fuck what you got going on in your life. Riding in there, motherfucker. Oh, that's how they feel on the outside. They don't get to see they poor little one no more. When you knocked up on that car window, at the movie theater, or wherever they was at, on some gangster shit. I don't even know. He, he looked like he could have been just a jealous nigga. Shit, he look like a real jealous nigga. He look like one of these just dry jealous and I already try to kill the nigga, man. And man, fuck you too, bitch. Some hating shit, cause you already know she gonna tell it on your motherfucker, man. And the nigga live, man. Shout out to that brother, man. Keep fighting, man. I hope you ain't got no brain damage or nothing. That's all I need to try to do. Damn. But you know, sometimes when niggas get hit like that, they, they, they wish they were gone, gone, because they find out baby gone when they do get their mind. Hi, Sharon. And then on top of that, you know, yeah, like this girl, she gone, they dealing with that every day, the PTSD, the drama, the, the waking up, man. He got the bullet wound still there. Like, you really came there to kill, bro. And you tried to take this man out. He took his lady from him, took, you see the family in the courtroom crying. Mm. And I think that what you said, bro, just really let people know, <laughs> nigga, the real. <laughs> hey. You can't wake they family up, nigga. You hear me? Yeah. You, you can't do nothing. You can't do yeah. the most important thing that they looking for. They yeah. love one back. Yeah. So yeah. ain't no sense of you even going in the courtroom begging, bro. And, and you know, it's a, it's, it's a shame how it look, man. Yeah. When they be killers on one day, then they find go out the next day. It's a shame, man. I'm talking about, um, it's free out here, y'all. It's free out here. It's free. It's free to stay free, y'all. <laughs> Learn that. We're going to got my mark, mark, mark it that way. It's free to stay free. It's free. don't cost you nothing to stay out here with us. It costs you everything to get put in that motherfucker. God damn, that's fire. <laughs> yeah, it costs you everything. Yeah. Most definitely condolences to that family and everybody going nah, through that, that, that situation, that man. Uh, that's man, crazy. When, I hear, when I hear stories like that, man, now that I got a lost little one, I lost my brother, man, I'm just so deep in the feelings of anybody. I hate, I hate, damn, damn, and, man, I, I hate to see, uh, I was looking at Animal Planet the other day, I hate to see the pole, you know, I'm looking at him do some hunting. Yeah. I started feeling sorry for the zebra, motherfucker. <laughs> man, bro. It was too I, many animals on his ass. Bro, you know what's so crazy, OG? Eating them alive. I be going through some shit, man, sometime, bro. 
Because the nigga that got older, I be thinking about <laughs> everything, every wrong thing I did Don't to do somebody. It. <laughs> <laughs> they should be having me sitting up in the eyes, man. Like, like, dang. Why did I do that? Why did I say that? Why did nah, I hurt their feelings, bro? I hate that. I wish I could go back and da 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 da. I'm like, man, I want to write every single wrong I ever did to somebody, anything. That's that crazy, felt. ain't it, man? Even, even, bro, I even be feeling like I'm going to run tears, man, because you right, man. I be then, say, for real. Then, hey, and then even, wanna... even the things that man. I know. I kind of did, because sometimes now you got to be correct on in it. Like, well, I got to give you this right now so you can know better how right. you crossing the line. Like, because I speak on stuff right, in the right, game. Right, right, right. So when I be saying things online, I don't be trying to put it out there in a way to make somebody just like die, go away. And right, right, right. I just got to speak the real, though. Yeah, yeah. But then I look back at things that I've done and, and things in life, and I ain't no messed up nigga at all, man. No, I grew up no. in the church, you know what I'm saying? Right, let's go. We I both, grew up different both, from the household, church. Let, let's nigga go. ain't on no none of the wild crazy, but <laughs> we already made mistakes, man. Right, right. And could have handled things way differently, but a nigga from Philly came on, on, on the live stream one night, man, and he said something, and we were just talking about, like, the cultural difference between black, white people. He said, bro, they try to make us out of savages, nigga. He said, Nigga, I can't even kick no dog that ain't. I just can't even kick a dog walking yeah. around. Yeah. And I can't unless he trying to do something to me. Right, right. And he was like, nigga, they'll kick your ass. They used to kick niggas and punch and spit on niggas. What? He said, nigga, we can't even do that to a dog. It ain't even in us unless you like a little kid or something. But he say, as a grown man, if you see a dog, you nah, ain't gonna kick no dog yeah, for yeah. no reason. You will feel like, nigga, I'm weak. I'm a whole ass nigga. So I just was like, bro. Yeah, dog, we in a different place, bro. And, and I couldn't do that shit, man. But you said some real shit, OG, 100. Appreciate you. Recently, one of the hottest Detroit artists to come out in the last few years, man, going crazy. Got the sound, got the talent, got one of the club records that's still going crazy with Future called Maybach. That's the one mm -hmm. he kind of do a little jab, tell Steve Harvey I don't want him. Mm -hmm. You know, his stuff, like, he really didn't build a fan base, had it. But, you know, his past kind of caught up to him a little right. bit. Got picked up. Uh, somebody told on him and put the footage out of him at a gun range with a gun. Wasn't supposed to have a weapon because of his past and everything. I think convicted felon with a firearm. Oh. I don't know what all they charged him with. But he had to go turn himself in. Then something went wrong with that. Then he was supposed to come home and go to a halfway house, to my understanding. And I don't know. I seen something else about some new charges. I'm not all the way up to date with that. But he spoke some real and put it out there. He ain't one that did made no excuses and none of that. Ain't complained. But he put it out there to the people to let them know. Because the game has changed now. And this thing is something I didn't thought of before. But he said this. Ain't no reward for keeping it real. So don't do it expecting something in return. Do it because you wouldn't have had it no other way. You might not get mentioned in the song. You might not get bonded out. A motherfucker might not even say free you, but real gonna forever recognize real. Freedom boys. Hmm. That sound like my son talking. I just got to phone my son, man. Tell him a quick, um, 10 minutes ago, I got a son that damn this prison, is in prison right now for, in a situation where he, I can actually say he didn't do shit. He been down there for 15 years aggravated for somebody else. Um, uh, keeping it real. Just got off the phone with him. Just looked him in his eyes. He down there for keeping it real for some more niggas. They, they couldn't keep it real for him. Uh, cause as soon as he kept it real for them, they locked up. So how real can they keep it for him now? They was holding him down for a couple of years. You know, he doing his time. They was still out here, but um, they time wore out. Sad thing about it, um, I'm glad he has got in the feds. I mean, he has got the stake. Cause all them boys he run with gone to the feds now. To keep it real, crap. Uh, keep it real can only last so long if you're keeping it real. You know what I'm saying? When he went down, get what he told me. He said, Dad, I, I'm the one got caught. No, you didn't, son. I ain't gonna lie, y'all. Uh, I was on my own. Um, I don't wanna say it. I, I just need names out of it. I was on my, um, my, my telling shit. Shut your bitch ass up, nigga. Yeah. That was, I was gonna do that for my son. I went and gave him fuck. But, um, cause I feel like, you know, um, that was a good kid to have to go do all that time and change his life because, um, culture. 
keeping it real for somebody else. Uh, and then you get in places like that and the love go fast and the hurt lasts long. Let me say it again. You get in a place like that, the love will go fast and the hurt will last long. What happened? I, was, I went down there keeping it real. They, Cause you thought they love you, then you get down there and they gone. You end up doing the shit by yourself. You understand me? Uh, keeping it real can't go wrong. Shit, keeping it real can go wrong, and you understand me? Uh, in a whole lot of places. I beg my, I told my son, don't, I ain't gonna lie, don't do it. Uh, that's not keeping it real. Keeping it real is for them not to let you have to go down and do time for them. For something they did, that's keeping it real. See, my son had to miss the screw thing, but you know, he went with culture. And culture blinded, and he ended up getting 15 years aggravated. And then the same niggas go up there and visit him in the cell. And he's taking pictures with him, but he's looking at him like, dang. My son wasn't nothing but like 16 years motherfucking old. You understand? My son like 22 years old, going on 23 now. Uh, been down there for a minute. Uh, but they robbed him when he was six, PMG age, 16, gone. You understand me? And uh, he been in there ever since, but he coming home next year. He was gonna walk all this time down to the door. No, I can do it all the way to the door. You hear me? Don't do it, baby. Don't come home. With your head on. Keeping it real don't last long. When niggas ain't keeping it real with you. You understand me? Because uh, my son shouldn't have to be locked up for something. You know, and then niggas went down there. And I, my son said, Daddy, I'm just, I, they got me, Daddy. Ain't no such thing, nigga. They didn't get you. Them niggas told it on you. Uh, what you mean? Yeah, yeah, that's why they out and you not. You think y'all y'all go down, army tanks and all that shit pick up, pick y'all up and take y'all down and they just they get to come home and, and, and you get locked up? You didn't get caught, they told the people you done it. That's what I'm letting you know, son. No, they, they wouldn't do shit. What happened? They signed an affidavit saying that you the one committed the crime and you the one saying that you got caught. Well guess what? You got 15 years. You dig what I'm saying? And then you have to sit there and um, soak in that for a minute. You know, as you can see, them niggas dried out. Your hip was there for a while, but they gone too now. They in the feds, so they can't help no more. Uh, keeping it real can't go wrong when the ones that's doing the wrong don't keep it real. Talk to me, Eric. What you think? Nah, for real, man, because, you know, yeah. you think keeping it solid out here, bro, it's going to be something like a, like a ribbon at the end of the finish. <laughs> I go. But it's Red like, top. but to keep it a thousand, I get what he's saying because you're supposed to do that anyways. And people ain't going to pat you on the back for saying, hey, you held that down. You did some real shit. Yeah. You got to do that for yourself. That's a self-reward. Yeah. And shit, sometimes niggas get tricked into positions where they keeping it real with somebody else they ain't keeping it real with them though you going over and beyond to keep it real with them because you think you're gonna get something in return because you don't know the definition of real yeah. like like when them niggas got put over in that car and niggas didn't claim the weed nigga they could have said that's that no that's mine for everybody to say i don't know who weed is this mm -hmm. who do that i mean oh everybody <laughs> shit, I ain't gonna lie. Cause, cause you know that's your shit. Cause you don't shut the fuck up, nigga. You know the police officer gonna hear you, nigga. Mm -hmm. So what you gonna say? It's a motherfucker thing, nigga. I ain't finna. Well, officer say, well, anybody gonna claim this? Or everybody going to go get ready to go to bed tonight. <laughs> what do you mean? What do you mean go to bed? I mean we going to jail. Go say something then. Ain't finna take no motherfucking weed, each other, man. We all wanna go to jail for your shit. Yes, yeah, when you start noticing niggas ain't built like you. What you mean by shit? <laughs> yeah, go. Look at look at Austin. Look at I don't want to go to jail tonight. I don't want to go to jail tonight. That's what you trying to say? That's his weed. Well, if he claiming it, you know. Man, sit there and say if he claiming it, it's his. No, it's not mine. Well, see, you just lied on him for nothing. You mean the partner now know that you're a dry snitch? You gonna snitch on him right in front, and you, everybody still go to jail, huh? Shit, I hear crazy nowadays, man. Huh? And these young niggas, they don't give a. Shh. I, ain't, I ain't seen that many young niggas walk off of one point in years without nobody looking in the water to see if there's any sharks in that motherfucker first. 
Yeah. And see all these niggas getting ate up down here in this water, and everybody's steady walking off the same plank shit. Well, I'm that nigga going, I'm going to look for you and get, get up on the plank. Oh, no, I'm not jumping in that. And it's so crazy because this situation, when I saw that, it was like, yeah, a nigga can't, you know, you got to take accountability and responsibility because it's the law of the land. He can't have a gun in his possession. Right. But it's crazy because it's like, dang, he was at a gun range. And somebody gave the footage up. So it's like, damn, it's like, hold on, bro. I wasn't in the actual doing nothing in this situation, but. You know, this how the game go, man. But that message was serious from behind that wall for somebody. Like you say, they might not even say free you. Mm -hmm. And that's how it be sometimes, bro. You done gave a nigga your money, done all these things. Then you go behind that wall. Nigga won't even go to social media and say, N man, free my boy. Nigga won't even see your $10 on commissary. Right. Nigga won't even have a phone call. You call it. Yeah, you have to let call from say, oh, shit. Who was that, baby? Oh, that wasn't nobody. Shit, Who's that, baby? Be a, be a, be a collection. God damn. Nigga on the other end talking about, damn, man, two of them went outside another goddamn car. Two of them called two of four or five times, two. He, 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 do unto others as you should have them to do unto you. Uh, that's either right or wrong. <laughs> Boss.